Hi everybody, Timmy Mix here, and today I want to show you how to achieve better results using luminance compression. After the intro. Today I want to share with you a very simple but effective technique which helps you to achieve much better results if you are creating looks. But of course you can use this technique in your color grading in your balancing too. And by the way this is a general color grading technique. You can do this with DaVinci Resolve, Baselight or New Coda too. Though this time it's not a special DaVinci Resolve tutorial. I will only use DaVinci for demonstration because it's my tool of choice. Let's Let's assume I created a basic look here with these four notes and now I want to get rid of this to bright highlights and at the same time I want to bring in more punch in the shadows. How can I do that? Of course using the contrast and pivot maybe in combination with some um, luminance qualifications but to be honest there's a faster and much more dynamic way. This technique is used by many colorists and uh, typically use case for the curves. First create two serial notes on the first node we will handle the shadows, on the second the highlights. Make sure editable splines are activated. So on the first node at the default anchors delink or ungroup the curves because we will only work with the luminance. Now select the most button point and drag it to the right so we compress the lower shadows and as you can see, I bring in more contrast into the shadows, but at the same time, I stretch the shadows so that we get more details into the shadows. This is a very common technique to bring more punch into the shadows without crushing blacks and such things too much. Okay, this looks good so far. On and off, before and after, look at the shadows. Can you see this? Okay, let's move on. On the second node, activate the default anchors too. Delete this second anchor here, because this time we want to achieve a very, very smooth roll off. Okay, and now grab the most upper node and drag it down just a bit. And if you do that, keep an eye on your scopes. Don't over, overdo it. Just a slight change. Something like this looks good for me on this image. And the goal is not to achieve a darker image. The goal is just to compress the highlights a bit to achieve a much smoother highlights roll off with an very nice roll off. That's it. So now the highlights fit better into the image. And if I now turn this node on and off, you can see the difference before and after. Both nodes on and off. And you see, we achieved a much better result. If you want to apply this technique into your workflow, be sure to use it almost on front, maybe directly after your primaries or near the end of your node tree. That's my recommendation because this should be only be used to give your image a special touch. Okay, that's it. And if you want to see more content like this, you know, please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and listening. You all a great time. Bye.